Hi, my name is Erica Alexander, and you're watching Reel It Back on Shadow and Act. Hello, Cousin Pam. Oh, this is nice. This is her intro. Real nice. Thank you. Wow, yes. look how dorky nice I look. I still look the same to myself, though. I think my hair looks stupid, but that has nothing to do with anything. I mean, what is it doing floating up over my hat? But the introduction of Cousin Pam was a surprise to everybody. And um, I came on to the cast, and uh, my introduction was, I think, you know, I think a, a very sort of sitcom introduction, like here you are, and here's your new home. And uh, you know, again, I, again, I have very, I have very little to say because even inside of that moment, I was a bit confused. <laughs> I mean, I didn't really know what I was doing there, and I haven't really thought about it that much after this. But I was really grateful, and they were a really wonderful cast, and they welcomed me. They were so nice to me, so I can say I had nothing but good feelings. Yeah, see, this so is this is Get people. Out. They're probably abducting black people, brainwashing them. Little Rail, so funny. Or sex slaves, not just regular slaves. <coughs> sex slaves and shit. See, I don't know if this is hypnosis. <laughs> Ah, okay. All right, so this is Detective Latoya. There could be a whole bunch of brothers they got already. What's the next move? Detective Latoya is um, a creation of Jordan Peele, who's really on fire nowadays and a great genius inside of genre. <laughs> I got a, um, I had auditioned for the role, but it was a very quick audition, and, and they didn't think I'd be able to do the role because they were, was doing so many different guest things. And uh, I got a great letter from Jordan saying that he wanted me to do it so badly and, and how he thought I would bring something different to the role. And I was like, is he talking to me? Wow, that's cool, you know, I don't know what he saw. But, you know, I said, oh, don't worry, it's gonna, it's gonna work out. Well, it did work out, and I was able to go down to Alabama where they were filming, and when I got there, I met him and he um, said, you know what, go up in the trailer, you know, wigs, anything you want to do, just put it on. This character is yours, just do what you want to do and then come out and we'll film it. No one had ever really given me that much sort of, usually people tell you, oh, this will be great and people start telling you what they want. But I walked into that trailer not knowing and so I saw the uh, hair and makeup people take some wigs out of a box and start shaking them because you know how they start shaking. <laughs> And I said, oh, they, you know, put that thing, looks like rat sucked on the end of it. <clears throat> and they put it on me. And it was a blonde wig that was kind of, you know, looked like you get it out of any wig shop on a corner here. And guess what? Boom! It was Detective Latoya. I knew instantly that that was her. She's really a, a heathen. Her foot is on the table. I had a lot of fun playing this character. The weird part is I don't remember many of shows because we had to just keep going. You have an audience that's in there, you have the cameras to think about, you have each other to think about, and you have the writers off on the side waiting to hear their jokes. So to lose yourself in that and have fun is everything. Representation matters. That's what I can say. And I found that there are people who've come up to me uh, who are now in power, positions of power, whether they are um, lawyers or politicians or entrepreneurs, that saw Max and Kyle and Khadija and these young people and saw themselves being in those positions and they went for it. 